Did you know there's a mammal covered not in fur but in scales? Meet the pangolin, one of the strangest and most misunderstood animals on Earth. At first glance, it looks like a reptile with overlapping scales like a pine cone or an armored dragon. But in reality, pangolins are mammals, more closely related to cats and dogs than lizards. Their scales are made of keratin, the same material in human fingernails. This odd combination of features makes them look like creatures from another age, survivors of a world where mammals and dinosaurs once coexisted. A pangolin's body is designed for protection. When threatened, it curls into a tight ball, with its tough scales forming an impenetrable shield. Even lions and tigers have trouble prying one open. Some species also release a foul-smelling liquid from glands near their tails, much like a skunk, to deter attackers. In their natural habitats, the forests and grasslands of Asia and Africa, these defenses make them nearly invincible. But their biggest threats aren't natural predators. They come from outside the forest in the form of humans. Pangolins are nocturnal, spending their days in burrows or hollow trees and emerging at night to hunt. Their prey? Ants and termites. With powerful claws, they tear open nests, then extend their long, sticky tongues to lap up insects. These tongues are astonishingly long, in some species longer than the animal's entire body, excluding the tail. Their stomachs are equally unusual, with tough, muscular walls and even small stones inside, helping them grind up insects much like a bird's gizzard. Here's a fact that surprises many. Pangolins don't have teeth. Instead, they rely on their tongues and specialized stomachs to process food. Their diet is highly specific, consisting almost entirely of ants and termites. In a single night, one pangolin can consume tens of thousands of insects. This makes them essential for keeping ecosystems balanced, preventing insect populations from overwhelming forests and grasslands. Pangolins are shy, solitary creatures. They spend their nights foraging alone and communicate rarely, using scent markings and low-frequency sounds. Their movements are quiet, almost ghostly. They shuffle slowly on their hind legs, using their tails for balance. And when startled, they roll into their famous defensive ball. For centuries, their elusive behavior made them almost invisible to science. Even today, many aspects of their lives remain poorly understood. There isn't just one kind of pangolin. There are eight distinct species scattered across Asia and Africa. Four live in Africa. The ground pangolin, giant pangolin, white-bellied pangolin, and black-bellied pangolin. The other four, Indian pangolin, Chinese pangolin, Sunda pangolin, and Philippine pangolin, are found in Asia. Each species has its own unique features, from the giant pangolin, which can reach lengths of nearly five feet, to the black-bellied pangolin, which is a skilled climber and spends much of its time in trees. Throughout history, pangolins have been wrapped in myth and mystery. In some African traditions, they are believed to bring rain or hold spiritual power. In Asia, their scales were thought to have medicinal properties, though they are made of the same substance as human nails. Folk tales describe them as magical guardians of the forest, strange beings that straddle the line between mammal and reptile. These stories reflect the aura of wonder pangolins inspire, animals so unique they seem almost unreal. The pangolin's design is a marvel of evolution. Its claws are so sharp they can dig through termite mounds as if they were paper. Its prehensile tail helps it climb trees and balance on uneven ground. Its sense of smell is finely tuned, guiding it straight to insect colonies, and its keratin armor provides unmatched defense. Unlike many animals which rely on speed or strength, the pangolin survives by turning itself into a living fortress. Despite their widespread range across two continents, pangolins are among the least seen mammals in the wild. Their nocturnal habits, solitary nature, and remote habitats make encounters rare. Even locals who live in pangolin regions often know of them more from stories than from personal sightings. For scientists, studying pangolins requires patience, camera traps, and sometimes sheer luck. Every photo or video of a wild pangolin feels like capturing a moment with a ghost. The pangolin is an animal of paradoxes. It is armored yet vulnerable, widespread yet elusive, ancient in appearance yet still alive today. It looks like a reptile, but it nurses its young like a mammal. It is both a reminder of Earth's evolutionary creativity and a symbol of nature's endless variety.